So in this video, we are talking about white balance and why white balance is so important for video recording, because in the end, you don't want to end up with an image like this or with an image like this coming up in this video. So first of all, we need to understand what is actually white balance. So white balance is basically the color temperature that is measured in Kelvin values by your camera. Since most of the modern consumer cameras aren't able to record in RAW, it is very important for us to set our white balance correctly before shooting. We can edit that in post or can fix that, but we will lose a lot of quality because of the compressed codec. So I highly recommend you to shoot with the correct white balance. But how actually affects white balance our image? Well, if the white balance is set not correct, your image is either be too warm, so yellowish, or too cold, bluish. But how we can make sure that our white balance is set correctly? Here we have two options, but first of all, turn off auto white balance in your camera and set it to manually. So now we have two options to set it correctly. The first option is using a gray card. This is a gray card and um, yeah, you just open up the white balance dial in your camera and then you set it to um, manually white balancing and you just simply hold um, this gray card in front of your camera and uh, then it will capture an image of the part here and it will set the white balance automatically correctly. This is a very precise option um, and you can make sure that your white balance is set correctly and uh, this one is also very important for correct exposure, as I told you in my last video. So really inexpensive, really affordable. I think it's around 15 bucks. So consider to buy one. All the products that I used are linked down below. And now the second option that we have, we can rely on our eyes and on our knowledge about the Kelvin values and set the Kelvin values manually. So here you have to consider in which environment we are. So now I'm in, I'm filming outside and I have to set my Kelvin value to about 5500 Kelvin, which represents the Kelvin value of the sun or daylight but for example if you are filming inside at night and you have a lot of tungsten light in your room then you have to set your white balance to around 3000 because tungsten light is around 3000 kelvin i will link down below a color chart um, and there is explained which light source represent which color, uh, which Kelvin value. You simply just set your white balance to these according values and for sure you sh should look into the image what looks also correct in your eye. But sometimes it is really hard to set the white balance manually correctly. For example, if you are filming under condition with mixed light conditions. So uh, for example, here we have daylight, then there would be another lamp, which is totally yellowish. Then it's very hard to make that correct. So therefore, I really recommend you to use a gray card. So just for you as a reminder, set your white balance always correctly, either by dialing in the Kelvin value manually or by using a gray card. Sure, as always, you can break this rule and you can set your white balance totally off if you want to go for that intense look. But keep in mind that you can't really fix it in post since we are not recording in RAW. If you made the mistake that your white balance was totally off, then have a look on my next episode. There I will explain how we can fix it in post. It will not look as good as set correctly in camera, but it is at least an option. 
So guys, that was my video about white balance. I hope you guys learned something. If you did so, please hit the thumbs up button below and consider subscribe. See you guys in my very next video. Cheers.